Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to another episode of Tone Clips. My name is Blake Hall. If you're into everything guitar, you came to the right place. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and don't forget the little bell icon next to it so you don't miss the next video. Now, today, we're looking at the Strymon Flint. This thing features three of the most awesome reverbs I've ever played and three of my favorite tremolos ever. I love it. I think you're going to love it. And uh, I went ahead and wrote a song using this pedal on all the guitars. Why don't we just check out the track, huh? Alright guys, I'm going to keep this short and sweet, I just want to go over the controls and the ins and outs on the top here. So, uh, you know what, let's start with the top. You got your input for your guitar, then you have an expression jack here, which I believe you can use an actual expression pedal. You can actually use their favorite switch, which gives you the ability to have a preset. And then you have a, a left and right output, which you don't have to use both, you can go mono. But it's really cool that they give you the choice to go stereo there and then your power of course which is 9 volts and I believe it's either 250 milliamps or 300 somewhere right around there. Now we're going to go to the front of this thing. So on this side you have the reverb and the tremolo side is over here. Uh, let's start with the switch here. You got the 60s, 70s and 80s reverb. Uh, I know that the 60s is actually a uh, spring reverb which is really cool. And you can get a little bit more out of this reverb than you would your conventional reverb, uh, spring reverb. What I mean by you can get more out of this spring reverb is you can have much longer trails on this spring, which turn it into kind of a different thing, but you can get a more of a traditional sound as well. And uh, these other two reverbs just sound great. You have decay color, which is just the EQ curve of the actual reverb itself. And then you have the, a mix knob, which is great. So let's move to the tremolo side. You get three different types of tremolo. Let's start at the top. This is probably my single favorite sound in this box. It is the 61 harmonic tremolo. It's really cool kind of univibe kind of tremolo. Instead of just being a choppy, the like a univibe is kind of a choppy sound and it goes straight from one sound to the next, where as a harmonic tremolo is more of a smooth thing. So I really love that. There's a, a 63 tube tremolo, which everybody loves to call it a, a nice warm swing 
swampy tremolo, which I will have to agree, and I love that. Then at the bottom, we have a 65 photo trim, which is really cool, kind of a uh, on-off kind of situation. Really, really cool. So you have the intensity here, which is almost like a uh, depth kind of thing, and then you have speed right here. Two knobs, real simple. So in the song at the top of the video, I used the flint in the effects loop of my D20. For the sound examples, I'm actually going to put it at the end of my pedal chain because I figured a lot of people are probably going to be using it that way. For the record, I am going to be using my Rev D20. I am going to go direct out the back into my recording software using the impulse responses that are built in from two notes. And I'm just going to use the second default impulse response that's on the rotary dot. Let's get into some sound examples, huh? Alright guys, for the sound examples, I'm going to be using my uh, Vince Aguera Custom Shop Crossroads guitar loaded with uh, Seymour Duncan Seth Lover pickups. And straight into the amp, sounds like this. <laughs> Beautiful reverb sound. This is the uh, 60s spring reverb. Love that sound, that's great. And uh, let's go ahead and just flip through the different types of reverb here. We're gonna go to the 70s. <laughs> Nice long trails with that uh, decay pushed pretty high. Let's listen to uh, the 80s. Let's get some tremolo in the mix here. I'm going to start with a harmonic trim here. Very, very cool. Let's slow it down and bring the intensity down just a little bit. Let's listen to the uh, 63 tube tremolo. That makes me want to pull out my slide right there now. Very cool. All right, let's hear this photo. Very cool sound. I think we should switch to some more single coil type sounds using this trim and the reverb here. Alright, so I wanted to showcase this harmonic tremolo doing like some univibe-ish kind of thing inspired by like Jimi Hendrix slash Robin Trower kind of thing. <laughs> Very 
of cool, right? All right, so let's just see what happens when we throw some of that reverb on with this harmonic tremolo and the fuzz. <laughs> So, I'm no Robin Trower, but I think that, to me, kind of has that Bridge of Size kind of vibe. I love that so much. Uh, I've always loved those guitar sounds, and you can you can get something pretty close in, in this box. Even though that's not exactly what people are getting the flint for, it's nice to know that uh, it can kind of pull off something like that, right? <laughs> If you're in the market for a great reverb and a great tremolo, this is a great way to go. I love mine. I don't plan on taking it off my board anytime soon. If y'all have any other questions about the Flint or any other Strymon gear, I'm going to leave you a link to Strymon's website in the description below. There's also going to be links to uh, my Tone Clip store where you can pick up stickers and there's t-shirts, there's coffee mugs, hoodies, all kinds of stuff. Anything that you buy from that store helps support this channel, so that's great appreciated if you like this video please give it a thumbs up you can also check out my original music at blakehallmusic.com that link will also be down there for you guys now I'm gonna be doing some giveaways and stuff here real soon so stay tuned for the next video if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button don't forget the little bell icon next to it and I will see you in the next video peace Gonna turn on things, gonna make it work, gonna make it great, I hope it doesn't suck. Oh, we don't need a tap tempo. Why? Because we're just talking. Does that look silly? No matter where it goes, it's irritating, so we're gonna turn it off. On behalf of the flight crew, thank you for flying with us, and have a pleasant day.